Resilience. That's the name of the game for outside hitter Kristen Hildebrand. Cut as an alternate in 2008, then again in 2012. Now the question is, what's next for 2016? You know, making the team in 2016 is the ultimate goal, um, and I'm going to do everything I can day by you know day by day to to put myself in the best decision to be to be on that roster and and you know play in the Olympics. Hildebrand is quite familiar with the locale in 2016. The the first time that I was able to play in Brazil was in 2009 at the Grand Prix, and we played in Rio de Janeiro. It's actually the the same the same gym that the Olympic site will be in 2016, and I remember you know, playing for a sold out crowd and everybody was going nuts. And it was just, it was an atmosphere that I'd never played in before. She had the opportunity to spend last year in Campinas, Brazil, playing for their professional team, even though Brazil is USA's biggest rival. Uh, you know, them being number one and us being number two. And every time we go up against them, it's, it's a battle. The sport is like second nature to Hildebrand since she was raised in a volleyball family. Both parents played for Brigham Young University. Her mom coached at Utah Valley. Dad played on the men's national team. My parents taught me a lot of what I know about the game. Uh, growing up, they were my club coaches all the way through, actually all the way through my club experience. They did a great job, you know, teaching me the fundamentals and then also teaching me to enjoy the game. She even found love in volleyball, literally, with her recent marriage to Tyler Hildebrand former national team player and current head coach at Long Beach State. We met through Open Nationals. He played at Long Beach State at the time and I was at Stanford. We just met and became friends. Eventually kind of went on the dating route. Seven years later, <laughs> um, we decided that, you know, we wanted to get engaged and then we got married. He's a huge support to me in my career. He's also lived through it. He's been a pro and he's played overseas and he knows what it's like. You know, having him have my back is, it means a lot and it, it uh, definitely makes it a lot easier. With three schools recruiting her out of high school, it was almost fate for Hildebrand to eventually choose Stanford to jumpstart her professional career and her personal life. What drew me to Stanford is the level of volleyball there and also the academics. That was something that was unmatched. I just felt like Stanford was too good of an opportunity to pass up. And in retrospect, it was the best decision uh, you know, that I could have made. A decision that hopefully leads to the fulfillment of playing for Team USA at the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro in 2016. For USA Volleyball, this is Jordan Young of the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.